When I was finishing high school, I think most people in Minnesota just assumed I would go to Gustavus. Uh, my dad had played there. I knew Wilkinson very well, but I really wanted to try Division I tennis. I had the I think illusion a lot of people have that I wanted to be part of a team with lots of really good players to practice with every day. I wanted a spot, a place where I could earn a spot on the lineup. So I had to kind of look for schools in the Midwest, looked at a lot of schools in the Big Ten. Um, I ended up choosing Ball State University. It was a coach there that gave me an opportunity to, to walk on to the program. I started out probably nine or ten in the lineup. My first fall, I was able to work my way into the roster. And then I think by senior, or by, sorry, by freshman spring, I was playing five and six and had an active lineup spot pretty much every week. I found out that I actually liked it less than I really thought I would. I felt like I had to defend my spot every single week in practice, and I think that hurt my ability to, to get good training in. Um, after a year and a half, I decided to transfer to Gustavus, where I started out as number two, but quickly became the number one player on the team. Um, and found that that was a much better fit for me uh, developmentally. Um, I, could, I was free to practice as I wanted to every day. I didn't have to worry about whether or not I was starting on Saturday. Um, and having players that weren't as good every day in practice really didn't affect me that much. I was pretty self-motivated and being able to play the top players from other program I think helped me more than anything. So. As I got onto the tour, I think that whole process of Gustavus of really becoming self-motivated, self-reliant kind of became really valuable because on the tour, the majority of practices you have are with people who aren't as good as you are. And for the top players in the world, pretty much every practice they have is with someone worse. So when I talk to parents and even some kids in high school, they think, oh, I need to have my child surrounded with better players. Like, that's absolutely not true. And for a lot of people, especially ones like myself, who were pretty sensitive to lineup situations and those pressures, actually being in the top player in the program was really beneficial to me.